are very different. I mean, some people say, oh, perhaps not for babies because it has got these wonderful pop-ups. But I think babies have a range of books. They have on their bookshelf the books that they're going to keep forever, you know, a big nursery rhyme collection, something like that. Somebody perhaps gives them a book for their christening. Because this perhaps you wouldn't put in the toy box alongside those board books because it just might get damaged, but it's actually quite tough for sharing with children. But the, the design, the bold colours, everything about it, and the crick crack crickety text, that again, children try, try and get their tongues around that, it's actually quite difficult. But we absolutely loved those amazing uh, spreads. Space, both the words and the illustrations have got space to breathe, which is very <coughs> important for small children. As they grow older, they like all that detail, don't they? But when they're little, the space <coughs> on the page is really, really good. And of course, those of you who know this book will know that there's a bit of a, a, bit of a rude joke at the end. <laughs> a sort of naughty joke, really, not a rude joke. Uh, and so we love this for its sort of freshness and originality. And if we're thinking about learning, you could say this is the first non-fiction book, really. You're learning all about eggs and chicks. Our winner this year is Chick, like in fear.